Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is July 14th of 2022. Uh, the reason for my dressing like this today is to mourn and to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Christ who will be left behind during the Great Tribulation. I'm going to read to you uh, Mary's prophetic dream number three. Um, this is a friend of mine. Uh, she has these dreams and then she'll write them up and she'll send them to me and I'll I'll read them and put them on my channel. Um, all right, so completely horrific, completely horrific. So let me just get started. This dream I had the other day, it was like I had dreamed it so many times, but I don't remember dreaming it before. I am tied to other people. We are tied together, wrist and ankle, side by side with a rope around us in a circle. We are naked, and most of us are crying. We are paraded out into the street, which is a busy city street. I have never been to New York, but it looks like someplace like that. Lining the streets are our loved ones and friends. They have looks of hatred on their faces. They are foaming at the mouth and spitting curses at us. My mom and dad, my sisters, my brothers, children and grandchildren, all of them hating me and throwing things at me. I keep my head lowered and walked on my bloody feet. We walked and walked all the way through the city. Then we were put in individual cells. The reason they did this was to change our minds so we would take the mark, the mark of the beast. There is nothing worse than being hated by your family. It broke some of the people and they yelled out, I'll take it. I'll take it. They were, they were unbound and led away. My heart sank when that happened. I tried to keep them uplifted. Jesus was hated. Are we better? Keep walking. We will not sell our souls. Keep walking. We love Jesus. We love our, we love father God. Keep walking. I said this with my head bowed because they were throwing disgusting, rotten food at us the entire time. I feel like this dream has been with me a long time. I pray for us all. Love, Mary. Okay, so Matthew uh, chapter 10. I'm going to read you this Bible scripture. Matthew chapter 10 verses 16 to 22 behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves and ye therefore be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles but when they deliver you up Take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father, which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall raise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So that's a very sobering message. Uh, the Lord, he will let those of us who have been getting visions and dreams um, from the Lord, <clears throat> he will uh, many times allow us to experience something firsthand. So we get, so we're able to uh, relay that experience uh, fully, okay? Because it's, some, it's something else to just be told, you know, these things. But to experience yourself, it, it just brings on a whole new thing. Okay? So, well, well, we will have brothers, we will have family members. If you're one of the <clears throat> ones who truly love Jesus Christ with your entire heart, mind, soul, and strength. You're not lukewarm. You're, um, if you're, if you, if you're one of the Lord's first fruits uh, that, that, get to be blessed to go in the first departure, then 
just praise God. Praise God for the mighty work that, that, you, that he did in your life. Okay, because it's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about anything that we've done. Okay, it's God did it all. He did it all through his son, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's who did this work. That's who did this finished work. Okay, even in my heart, I claim even though I'm able to be forgiving of people and uh, hold no seeds of resentment and, you know, I've learned to submit myself to the Lord and everything, I can't claim none of that for myself. I cannot God did that. God did every bit of that. He caused me to have a heart that is forgiving towards people. He caused me to have a heart that loves him with my entire heart, mind, soul, and strength. He did that, not me. He got, he came and he left the 99. Jesus left the 99 to come find me. And he turned my life around. All glory to him. Nothing about myself. All of him. He did this work in my life. The one thing I had to do was submit that's what I had to do as I had to submit and follow behind my master. And that's what I've done. <clears throat> so for those of us who have done this thing, uh, you will not be here to go through this event, this uh, horrific, horrible, great tribulation. So I'm just here to give you the message. And also I want you to go down into the description, the description box below and you will see, um, I've made a playlist with Mary's prophetic dreams. So this is the third one. Please go to the playlist in the description box below and click on it and just watch. Uh, many, if you've been here with me for a while on my channel, then you've already heard these things, but it, you know, they're, they're very hard things to listen to. It's, it's very, very hard things to listen to. It's very sad. So I'm just going to um, end this right here. I don't want to go on about it. So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. And let's just uplift all of our family members. Even those who hate us. We're here to pray for them. Okay. So God bless you. Goodbye.